So you applied to medical school and you got the letter in the mail that you have been offered an interview. Well, the first thing you want to do is call the medical school immediately. I see a lot of students make a lot of mistakes. They get an interview letter, they put it to the bedside and let it sit there. That's a bad idea. Okay, the first thing you do, you call them up and schedule a date. The reason is because these medical schools have a panel. They have a committee that meets about once a month. And they review people as they come, so and as, as they apply. So the earlier you get an interview date, the earlier you get to interview, the earlier the committee gets to review your application, the earlier they get to make a decision, the earlier you get an admission. So once you get the letter, call immediately. That is step one. Once you get a date, pick the earliest date, okay? This is not a time for you to be picking a date later on. Let's say you call in uh, October, for example, find a date in October, except the, the dates are filled up and then pick another date. But you want to find the earliest date possible because there's thousands of applicants applying and they're only going to interview about 10% of these people and you don't want to be the last person to get an interview, okay? By the time they get to your application, if you interview late, they probably already made most of their decisions and maybe half of the class is more than full. So that's step number two. Step number three, start to prepare for the interview. What do I mean by that? Well, look up the school that you apply to, whether it's an MD school or a DO school, and learn their mission statement. If the mission statement of the school says, we focus on primary care, well, that should be a great information for you to know because when you go to that school, they don't want to hear anything more than you are interested in primary care, okay? So you want to sell yourself so that your values, your ideas match the mission statement of the school, okay? If the school says we are focused highly on research, well, don't go to the school and say, oh, you know, I'm not a big research person. Well, that's a big red flag because maybe the person you're talking to is the head of their research facility and they are very big on research. So you look on their website and they said, you know, by the end of your third year, you should be a publisher paper or, you know, doing a research study. Well, when you go to the school, you got to tell them, I am interested in research. I want to learn more about research in medicine so we can keep advancing medicine. That's an appropriate response. Okay. I see a lot of students make a mistake. Know as much information you need to know about the school. Number four, go and visit the school. Well, this is not always... Uh, easy, okay, because if the school is in California and you live in Connecticut, well, it's not always easy to just fly all the way to California just to go and visit the school. Probably the day of your interview is the only time you're going to get a visit. But if you can, try to get in contact with this, uh, the, the medical students at the school. Call the admissions office, ask them to talk to their student government leader, and uh, they always have people who help with orientation, and try to give them a call and ask questions like, you know, Tell me more about your school. You know, how's the curriculum? Uh, what do I need to know when I'm applying to your school? You know, uh, wh what is the student body like? You know, are the extracurricular activities? What are the opportunities for research? These are the key important things you want to ask your the student government body or whoever you get in contact with so that when you come for the interview, you are very prepared. Now, number five, if you, if you get a chance to visit the school, meet everybody, okay? Try to meet with the admissions officers, the student body. You want to meet with the secretary, introduce yourself, and dress nicely. I don't care if you're just visiting, just for visiting sake. Make sure you dress sharp as if you're coming for an interview. I see most students wear, wear like khakis and polo shirts and walk into a school. No, no, you're an applicant. You're not a medical student yet. You want to give them a first impression. And you walk in there with your suit and your tie, they look at you more seriously, you know. So that's what you want to do. Now, once you visit the school, now it starts to prepare for the interview. I always recommend, if you are not great at interviewing, there are key important things with interviews. First, you want to get a nice suit, whether you're a girl or a guy. Get a nice dress suit. You know, you don't have to spend a lot of money on the suit. Get something nice, fitted fit outfit, you know. And, you know, very nice outfit so that you can wear to the interview with a nice tie, okay? And a nice shoe, nice haircut before you go to the interview. Look your best, okay? You are going to impress people. 
and they want to your first impression of what they look at you really matters a lot okay so don't forget that dress your best and then when you are preparing for the uh, for the interview ask your friend to help you out ask your dad your 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 sister your mom and there are a list of interview questions on the internet you can pull up and you can use these questions to guide yourself you know most of the questions goes like why do you want to become a doctor well, you know they're going to ask, ask you that question on the interview day, okay? And you better have a really well thought out question, I mean answer for that question. Don't go in there and say, well, I want to become a doctor because my father went to medical school, my brother is a doctor, and my mom is a dentist. Well, that is not a good reason to go into medicine. It's a lot more than that, okay? You know, and don't say, I want to go, I want to help people. They have heard that a million times. You know how you can help people? If somebody's starving on the street and you give them food, you just help them. So you want to have a genuine reason, a passion. And you want to show them how passionate you are about becoming a physician. And that passion will resonate when you actually stand in front of the interviewer to see how badly you do you want this. Okay, don't go there nonchalantly, not well prepared, and think you can just, you know, go, get by by answering questions uh, nonchalantly. I would not advise you to do that. Okay, so have your friends sit you down, dress nicely as if you're preparing for this. Mimic the interview uh, uh, environment, and when you do that, Ask for constructive feedback so that, you know, your friends can tell you what you're doing wrong that you can't see. I did that when I was applying to medical school. Also, on the interview day, firm handshake. Okay, don't give them those little winning handshake. Give them a firm handshake, eye contact. Okay, I see a lot of students interviewing. They're looking down, looking sideways. They're distracted. You want to look at an interviewer straight in the eye as if you mean business. Okay, firm handshake. And don't be playing with your hands, okay? That's not the time to be nervous. Take a nice deep breath, okay, and relax, okay? This is your chance to prove to somebody that you can be a good doctor. Give me a chance to become a physician. So don't take it lightly, okay? And also, when you're answering questions, they will ask you a lot of questions. Answer just the question. If they ask you, why do you want to become a doctor? Don't tell them if you want to become a doctor or don't give them an answer of, you know, my mother, you know, traveled to Peru and, you know, don't tell them anything other than the answer. I want to become a doctor because this happened to me in my lifetime. I got, you know, you can, if somebody has like a history of cancer or cancer struck their family and they felt like, you know, their family wasn't treated well and that motivated them to want to become a physician to help other people, something that's touching. You know, I went to Iraq or something like that and you saw, you know, soldiers' legs got cut off and, you know, they needed emergency care and I really got passionate and I wanted to help, okay? Give them a substantial reason. If you don't understand the question, tell them, I beg your pardon, repeat the question. And you do not have to answer every single question. A lot of students think every question should be answered right away. If you don't have a good answer for a question, tell them, I'm going to, I don't have an answer for you right now, but I'm going to answer the question at the end of this interview. And while you are answering other questions, start to formulate a great answer for whatever question they're asking you, okay? And don't be just a geek, okay? When you go to interviews, make sure you are a well-rounded individual, okay? Phys becoming a physician is tough. It requires a lot of reading, but they want to make sure you're interested in piano, violin, whatever, all the extracurricular activities to show that you are more well-rounded and you want to show that to the interviewer, okay? So, and don't be surprised to, you know, if the person you interview loves to play the piano because you have that similar similarity, trust me, it's a, more than enough to sparkle and kind of ease the moment. So try to read your interviewer and try to see whatever similarities they have that you also have and that can ease the interview uh, tension. At the end of your interview, remember to ask questions, okay? They're going to ask you, do you have any questions? Do not walk out of that interview saying, I don't have any questions. That's not good. I have at least three to five questions you're going to ask the, the interviewer so that it can feel like you did a lot of research and you're really interested in the school, okay? At the end of your interview, make sure you send them a letter of appreciation and a thank you letter 
And remember to call them back just to tell them, you know, I'm really interested in your school and I would just like to check on my status of my application. Okay. And they'll let you know, uh, we meet next month. We'll get back to you. You'll get a letter in the mail. Okay. So those are key interview tips bits that I wanted to share with you guys. Remember to fail to prepare is to prepare to fail. All right. So put in all the hard work and I wish you guys all the best. And as you progress in your career choice to become a physician i believe that you can do it and just keep shooting for the uh, moon and even if you miss it you land among the stars thank you very much it's dr adishina have a wonderful day bye bye and don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel take care bye Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned a lot. Are you studying for the USMLE Step 1 or Step 2? Are you studying for the NCLEX or you're currently in nursing school as a nursing student? Are you a PA student currently in school or studying for your PANS exam? Or are you a nurse practitioner student or trying to take your MP board exam? Listen, I've got super awesome content for you. If you truly love this video and it simplified your learning process, I want you to check out my website below. I've listed all the list of exams, whether you're studying for any of this board exam, and all I want you to do is click on the link right now below so that you can take you directly to my website. For USMLE, just go to smashusmle.com. For NCLEX, go to crushnclex.com. And if you're studying for the PANS exam, the nurse practitioner exam, or you're studying for your internal medicine board exam, just click below and take you directly to ftplectures.com. Listen, I can't wait to help you. If you need to get in touch with me, just get to my website. You're able to reach me directly and we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. Listen, you are super awesome. And my goal here is to help your dream come true. If you want to be a doctor, want to be a nurse practitioner, a registered nurse or physician assistant, I'm here to help you get to that next level with your medical knowledge. Let's save the world together. I love you guys. You guys are super awesome and do not forget to click on the link below to be able to get to my website. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great day. Let's go.